Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so happy that Isabel is with us today. I am super happy that you're home. I am home and I am happy to be home. <laughs> How was your trip? Uh, it was really good. Uh, New York was really cool. Um, I did some fun things in New Jersey, like going to a, a wolf sanctuary. That was cool. Um, seeing them like all howl at the same time was just really weird. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you howl at the wolves? No, I did not. Oh, darn. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Um, well, let's get into it. So today we have something I've never seen before. These are Takis Fuego Small Bites. They partnered with Totino's. It's kind of like a pizza roll, except there's just mozzarella cheese in there, and I looked at the ingredients, it's even imitation mozzarella cheese, so I'm not sure how good they're gonna be. <laughs> but as I was putting them on the tray, it did get the powder all over my hands like Takis do. So the powder, I believe, is genuine Takis powder. Found these at Grocery Outlet. If you don't have a grocery outlet, you can find all sorts of strange things that your regular grocery store wouldn't carry, and that's why they end up there on discount. Yeah. Let's try them, yeah? Yeah, uh, by the way, the reason we're using chopsticks is because both of our hands are truly messed up. Um, yeah. We keep getting like blisters and mine are currently cracked um, and I don't want them to be hurting later. Yeah, I, I mean, I've done a lot of research into this. It happens to me almost every summer. It's a dermatitis thing, um, but it's the first time you've gotten it. Yep, first huh. time. And also during this time, I decided to travel to a very different uh, place with very different temperatures. So cheers. So probably screwed my Sorry. fingers up more. So cheers to that. Yeah, <laughs> cheers to sensitive skin and bad genetics. <laughs> Thanks, mom. You're welcome. All right. Oh, sh I probably should have tried it first without. Here, I'm gonna set this one aside. Oh, that's just ranch. But we should try it without first. Okay. Boop. Mmm. Mmm. You don't like it? Oh, it has a weird aftertaste. I liked it initially, and I'm not a fan mm. of Takis. You don't like it at all? Oh, that's... It's, it's not a dislike, it's a, um... Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, so the mozzarella, when it's heated up, because it's imitation mozzarella, it turned into... Wait, it's it's not cheesy. It's more of a liquid. It's very liquidy. It's a mayonnaise texture. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, okay, fine. Veginase, because that's what we use. So that's what I'm comparing it to. Okay. It feels like veginase in a package of uncooked dough covered in Takis powder. <laughs> I'd like them better than Takis. I will try them with the ranch, though. Okay. I've already got some. I like Takis better because they're actually crunchy. These are not. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not a big chip fan to begin with, so definitely don't like Takis. Maybe with dip, I would like them. But I mean, pretty much everything's good with dip. People I think it's good. I can taste the chili lime powder. I like the creamy texture inside. It doesn't taste like mozzarella, but it is satisfying. I got made fun of one time. I, um... I, I put a ranch on top of nacho cheese Doritos, like just oh. ranch on top, um, and that's good, but everyone was like, that's so weird, and I was like, mm, I like it. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. You get Cool Ranch and mm -hmm. Doritos. I was going to say, they have Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah. I'll try one that's really powdery. Maybe okay. that'll help. <clears throat> really dark one. Yeah. I think they're great. They definitely taste like junk food, but I'm okay with that. They are neither healthy nor tasty to mm -hmm. me, so I dislike them. It's like the combination of the good Takis flavor with a pizza roll. I don't know. I think I would enjoy it better if it was the type of cheese that they put in pizza rolls. 
Or maybe if there was... I haven't read the ingredients on those. Those might not be real cheese either. <laughs> maybe, well, I, I doubt they are real cheese, but I wish it was that type of cheese. Mm. Because I know that type of cheese does not feel like like a, um, a heavy cream. The, it's the texture that puts me off, and it doesn't taste huh. like mozzarella to me either. So it, it just doesn't feel right. I'm eating them all. So I'm going to keep eating. But... I, I would buy these again. It was $2.99 for a bag of 60. Oh, wow. And a serving size is 13, so. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a good deal for a little, little fat kid snack. No, I know these aren't very spicy, but we still have to rate them on the spiciness. Um, mm -hmm. How do you rate your spicy? One. I mean, I, there's a little no, bit no, of No, no, like how do you rate it on the Oh, I do one to 10. Okay. Or zero to ten. Yeah, I put it at like a one. It gives you that nice, like, kind of mouth burn. Mm -hmm. There's a little tingle. Yeah. Um. Totally enjoyable though. Um. Yeah. So I'd say a one on the heat level. Anybody, I think, could eat these unless you're really sensitive to spice. Absolutely hate it. You know, yep. the kind of person that doesn't like black pepper. If you can't handle takis, then you can't handle these. Very well. Um, now on taste, mm -hmm. you like to rank it one to five, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but you like one to ten, yeah, so Yeah, I think, that. It, yeah. So, um, I put it on a two. Oh. Two out of ten. I, they, they taste like Takis, but have a terrible middle and bad, like, aftertaste slash middle taste slash taste, so. Ah. It's, it's like, you it's like. The uncanny valley of Takis. Well, I think this is gonna be the first time you guys see us be so diametrically opposed because I would rank this an eight. Wow. I, like I said, I would buy these again. Yeah, I, I ate a couple of them and usually even if I dislike things, I finish it and I don't really wanna finish this. I'll eat them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, obviously you wouldn't buy them again. I would. Again, if you have a grocery outlet where you live, you can find these in the frozen food section. If you don't, I imagine you can Google them and find them someplace. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Or just buy them online or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's our review. Welcome back, Isabel. And with that, I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye. Bye.